I think the cloud. I think the cloud gaming thing with the whole you have to connect for the cloud is just BS in my opinion. I don't know. It's just it's like like we said before. Like it's, it's running. They're all running on the same architecture. So why do you need backup processing in the well, cloud? You don't, like, you don't no. necessarily need it, but if you use it, it'll make your game look better, right? Is that that's what they said? That's what it seems like. You know what? You know what other service did that? It was called. Uh, I forgot the damn service name. <laughs> Well, oh, what was this? Like, I can't some people on live, on live. There you go. Online. And you know what happened to them? They they're failing horribly, and he sold the company for like eight million dollars. Well, like some people say, uh, screw the cloud, get a PC, and your game will look fine to begin with. Because I doubt the game's gonna look any better than a PC. I mean, I don't understand. I don't expect how much better they expect the game to be. With the cloud, I still have this thing to be a excuse. I mean, I mean, I could be saying that now because I just don't know like the workings and how they expect it to work. Yeah. But is this like, like how much better can you possibly make it with the also, cloud? Also, there's the fact that Sony's got more. They got better RAM or GPU or whatever. They got that um, that GG5 or whatever the shared RAM. Uh, Microsoft's got the three or whatever. They got like a step below Sony. So I don't know how much their cloud. I don't know how much their cloud services are gonna like matter. All I'm, all I'm saying too is that uh, you know the PS4 doesn't seem to necessarily need anything like that. So and it's running games pretty is smoothly. The Xbox needed or is it just something they? I think it's something they're offering, which is and at the same time, since they're I mean like since they're using DRM, they're trying to force an excuse to keep you online. True. I mean that, that's all I really think it is. Like someone proved me wrong, but like that. I mean I wish someone could prove me wrong, but right now that's what I'm going with. It's just. Because like, what 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 BS way can we get people to stay connected online? Oh, let's say that there's a cloud, there's a cloud powering everything. I mean, in in all in all respect, it could be a cloud powering everything, but no, it's just. You know what? I can get a hundred million fucking fairies to carry a hundred million pots of honey. It doesn't mean the honey's gonna taste any good. <laughs> it was that oh. stuff. That, <laughs> okay, okay. Let me get like some. Well, let me get some context for that. That I kind of didn't even do the quote right. That's a, that's a webcomic thing. Scott oh. McCloud with microtransactions, if anyone even knows what that is. I don't even know what microtransactions Yeah, Scott McCloud. Look that up sometime. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it, it seems alright, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not positive on cloud gaming at the moment, even though it's where we're going. I don't think we're, I don't think we're personally there yet. We can't handle it. We Look, can, we can. We need Microsoft, the what players. Microsoft is offering, honestly, what they're doing with it, that's the way things are going. The problem is, it's too soon. Much the like with, I was thinking about this. This is like the Dreamcast. How remember how Sega tried to protect their games with their uh, their weird ass uh, format on the on the discs. You mean Windows? Windows and the disc format was different. It was like JPEG or something. And then you can just copy them anyway. It was mad easy to copy all the games. And then they shot them, they pretty much shot themselves in the foot. With a cannon. <laughs> that's, what, that's what some people were saying with Microsoft. They shot themselves in the foot with a cannon. That's pretty much what the conference was. <clears throat> you know? Speaking of uh, shooting themselves in the cannon, how about Jack Trenton just stabbing Microsoft in the back? Oh, great. Constantly. He had that big shitting grin on his face when he announced that, no, we're not going to impose DRM restrictions. <clears throat> and, and that sharing the sharing games thing oh my god that was great hey, hey Jeff you want to borrow a game yeah here you go oh thanks no problem bro anytime <laughs> the cool. PlayStation 4 <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um yeah after Jack Trenton announced that if anyone hasn't seen it there's this commercial for uh for used games and they wanted to show the process on how to share your games with your friends and all they did was hand out a game a box copy of I guess Killzone to somebody, uh, and he's like, "Thanks," and it ends. He just hands him the he hands him the game. So, yeah, you know, that's just more pot shots at Microsoft. But Microsoft left their left themselves open. So, it's all well. Yeah, they did. And you know what? This is just like Sega does it with Nintendo. This is fun poking at them, right? You know, what's, you know what's funny too is this something you take a feature, you take. It's not even a feature. You just take something that should be standard in a console and announce it during a conference, and you get all that applause because another, the competitor, 
is like totally thrown out the window. Like what he said, you don't have to be connected fully online to play the game. <laughs> yeah. Like that's not even like a feature, yeah, but like now, now it can be treated as one because Microsoft's like, hey, like like that's something that's sad when you think about. It. Like yeah. not 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 even on Sony's part though. It's, it really it's sad is. on Microsoft's part because like these are something you shouldn't be bragging about. It should just be standard. But so it's not it's sad on it's sad on gaming. Come on. Where are we so uh, that happened and. Also, here's a question though. Was do you guys think Sony was really going to like impose DRM stuff originally? Or was this really a publisher thing? Cuz there's been a lot of things going around that the co- <coughs> EA's like well, this is specifically with EA, but they're the one they're like no Microsoft wants the DRM. Microsoft's like no, the publishers, the developers want it. That's what I like doing. to think how you said earlier it was a uh... They, they waited for Microsoft's conference, and then right after that, they were like, take it out, take it out, take it out. <laughs> take it out, take it out. Maybe, <laughs> take it out I don't know, maybe Sony wasn't going to do DRM, but, I mean, they, okay, look, let's, let's well, clear if that we, up if we, right if we all remember correctly, though, one of the main worries of this new, new generation of gaming was that, besides Microsoft, Sony also had plans for DRM. That was the rumor. That was a rumor. We don't know. We probably won't ever know until a few years down the road someone says I something. I don't remember how to play this game. So... <laughs> I'm giving Fred the most disgusted look right now. It's our system game, Fred. Mash buttons. I uh. Yeah, it's like I, get wrecked. I don't know. I don't know how to call that because it's like, it, was it really? Because I heard the publishers and the developers were pushing the system manufacturer, you know, the system people. Okay, Microsoft and Sony, you better do this or we won't put our games there. But <clears throat> let's let's clear that one up, right? Like they said, Jack Tretton said in an interview with Jeff Keighley, he's like, yes. We do have the arm restrictions in the PS4, but we're not going to impose it. We're not going to do anything with it. We left it for the publishers, third party, to decide if they're going to use it. Um, Honestly, I think the uh, whole DRM thing is a, like right now with Microsoft's case, it's a mixture between Microsoft and the publisher. Because you you know the publishers want want the little extra cash you can get from the games when they're sold. Uh, you know when they're sold uh, for a second time, second hand. Yeah. It, you know, for a fact, they want the money because it's because the used game market is is not necessarily killing them, but it, it does it, hurt. It, it does hurt. Them. It does hurt. Actually, that also brings up about you guys know Cliff Bazinski, right? No, he they made gears. On oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he on Twitter he talks a lot about a lot of things, obviously gaming related. He's not in the industry right now. He's, I think he's taking some sort of break, but he does talk. Uh, a lot about the industry and what's going on. He thinks used games are what's really killing the market. And he's like, the $60 structure is just not working anymore and how, like, we need this DRM stuff. He's trying to justify it, but, you know, um, on Screw Attack, on their Hard and News segment, they're like, you're worth $16 million, you're, like, worth $16 million or whatever, Cliff, and you, um, you make million. he makes millions of dollars and he's still making it off gears and stuff. Yeah. Um... And it's like, mm. <laughs> it's like, are you serious? You're really gonna tell us used games are killing the market when you're like making all this money, you know? He could, he could be making more money, Jeff. You don't understand that. He could be making more money. He had to downgrade his look, four star yacht to a three star. Look, all right. <laughs> you don't look, understand. Used games do help, do not help developers most of the time. But I don't believe that's what's killing gaming. What's killing gaming is the lack of, as Reggie Fila says. Uh, lack of good games, make better games, as the man said. Did make, you guys hear game, about that? Make games good enough that people want to buy it. You guys want. hear about that? He's like, yeah, that. make good games. That's that's true though, isn't it? You know what? You know what a lot of people are saying these days too. What? They're they're, they're saying that developers really want to like fight against use game the used game market. Stop releasing the games for sixty dollars. Release them for forty. Forty dollars? I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty. That uh, seems like a fair price. That seems like a fair price for a disc based game. I feel like it works in a lot of cases. You know, you know what? Like that would be. You know how much that would, You know how many more games I'll probably get I if, would buy if it was at forty bucks games. on release. Forty dollars. You're, you're spending. You got to look at it like this. You're spending over half of a hundred dollars to get a game. Yeah. One game. Yeah. Why are release. those HD collections forty dollars? Because they're older games. Or? They're older games that are just re- reworked. Yeah, but so. they've still got to put a lot into it and do shipping and stuff. So. I just because cause I imagine they're forty dollars because the basis the basis of the game is already there. It's just a matter. It's just a matter of my. Uh, well, this also brings up why twerking. <laughs> Twerk. Well, that also Twerk. brings up why Steam does so well. They can sell it so cheap because it's all digital. It's all digital based. You know. Yeah, that's another. And you have a lenient. Uh, digital DRM. games 
on your console aren't even cheaper. Like, what the fuck? Not, not on, yeah, not on consoles. What is time. that? That's gross. It might be five dollars cheaper. I think at least ten. At least, not at least five. At least ten. But uh, I don't get why digital titles on like PS3 and Xbox aren't cheaper. I don't know. If, I mean, the, the Wii, whatever the Wii is, the Wii. I'm yeah. Not even get into that, really. <laughs> is the Wii even relevant anymore? With the Wii U? No, I don't think it is. Right? Well, it doesn't even matter if you can buy the game digital for Wii U. If you have a basic model Wii U, you're screwed. You can only buy like one game. <laughs> but you can hook up that hard drive. You can hand you. That's all I can think about it. I I don't agree with uh, with that. By the way, with the we use uh, hard drive thing. Oh well, we made it so you hook up a hard drive. You know, at least this time around, though, I'll give them this. They gave you the option. Because you know, you know how badly I wanted to hook up a hard drive to my Wii, but I couldn't. I mean, given a high never or whatever. Yeah, if you hack it. Yeah, if you hack it. Even though I technically do it each time when I pop in Project M, which isn't often. So. I just. So I I'll, just feel like that was a mistake on Nintendo's part, though. You, you should be. I like how PlayStation, how Sony does it. It's so easy to change the hard drive. You know. So, speaking of uh, speaking of Sony and. Uh, are they doing that with the PS4? What? I don't know actually. Uh, I've heard stories. I hope yes, they I've, do. I've, I've heard mean, yes. Hard I drives heard. are getting cheaper and shit. Like. Well, they do give you a 500, which is which is good to start with. I mean, my personally, my PS3 only has a 320 in there. And Some people complain it's not enough, though. Which I can understand if you're downloading lots of shit. Well, some people use their consoles like I never, I never that one point when I was using the PS3 for uh, like anime and stuff, and I'll have the anime on my hard drive, and that was taking up a good amount of space. But then I, th then I just started hooking up the hard drive, and it made things easier. But how about that? Uh, how about that Vita, the PS4 uh, remote play? How they're making PS4 games mandatory for Vita to play? They better, because they didn't no deliver way. on that uh, PSP, the PS3, or Vita, the PS3, fucking. I'm so mad, I'm gonna sue them if they don't do it, man. No. <laughs> they keep promising me anything. This is jump! I couldn't! And you broke your persona. I couldn't jump. Um, you down in triangles, when triangle it, square. When it comes to When you're paralyzed, you can jump. But when it comes to that, I cannot imagine at this... I cannot imagine at this point Sony not delivering on this stuff. If they don't, I'm telling you, I'm suing them. They're big fat liars if they don't. That's a major problem. It's like... PSP to PS3, Blaze Blue, it sucked. Um, Most remote yeah, play from the PSP. Climate the trigger on the, yeah. the PSP was terrible. Yeah. The Vita and the PS3 don't do shit, really. We got PlayStation All Stars, you can cross play, but can you remote? That's not that. that no, you can't remote yeah. play. You just connect. Can you remote play PlayStation games? Is that it? Yeah, you can. You can remote play PlayStation. That's games. it. Yeah, and what? there's there's still a horrible lag, even when you're local. Even when you're local. Really? There's a. There's I a know what. Lag. This is what you don't want to think about that though. They wanted to entice people to buy Vitas, but I think maybe there was an honest, maybe there was a hardware issue. But then I saw people running Battlefield 3 on the Vita. So, I don't know how to call that, why they decided to... I'm telling you, they're holding something back. It, I guess they were waiting for the PS4? Yeah, they might as well. No, no, they just... Because the reason I believe them with the, with the Vita to the PS4 is because of showing off Knack back in February. Remember that? Yeah. How it was, like, seamless. It look, it's the game you're playing on your big screen, now you're playing it there. And they need to compete with Nintendo with that, as much as I don't think they're really Nintendo's Compete really with Nintendo with what? With the, you know, the so TV. The the, yeah, the TV feature is nice. You, you can't tell me it isn't. Oh, what, well, you take your game? Yeah, you could just play, like if someone wants to watch television, you can just play it on your pad. Yeah, no, yeah, that's definitely nice. See, that's something well, Sony I, needs to do. I was reading that, uh, there's one article I was reading, I, I gotta find it. Is that like they said the uh, you know they uh, there's a certain uh, chip in the uh, PS4 that makes it a little bit more compatible with the uh, Vita than it was with the PS3 that, that will make this and that's what makes the uh, remote play a little more seamless than it was Good. beforehand. It better. Don't be mad if it doesn't. There's yeah, 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 I just yeah, can't yeah, see them yeah, not yeah, delivering yeah. on that after all this good stuff they've shown. Come they on, better. all they that good shit they're talking. Good for Speaking of all that good shit that they promised, how about them indies? How was anyone else surprised that they had eight games, eight or ten games, indie games, simultaneously going up on the stage? Because I was. They had eight games going at once. I've never seen that at a conference. 
Still gonna see the dance in Octodad. Oh yeah, Octodad. I'm looking forward to that on the PS4. <laughs> oh, oh, but oh. seriously, were you, what do you guys think of that? Sony putting up all those indies up on stage. I don't know. That's good. It gives, them, have an it gives them more exposure. I think that's just good faith, you know? They're like, yo, here, we're gonna help you. You can self-publish on our system. It's so weird, too. It's like Sony's just done... Someone oh, kicked when you're someone using, someone's when ass. When you're using the computer architecture like that, the X80, uh, what was it, 86 or 83, whatever? Yeah. Like, you might as well just make it open to whoever wants to get a little piece of that, because people can program on the computer. It's going to make it easier. And, like, it get, and it gives people... Like, I don't, under, I don't understand, like, why Microsoft isn't so isn't open to indie developers right now. No, they what, said they are, though. They said they are, but they're not, re they're not really showing anything off, and, like, is this, is this going to be easier all around? So, like... I, I guess Sony's, like... Getting on that because uh, probably with the way the PS3 was set up, they couldn't really. Well, with that six-core processor, yeah, or whatever. Exactly. It was, a, it was a disaster to program for, and it yeah. wasn't. What? Actually, let me rephrase it. It wasn't so much a disaster. It just took a little more work, and when you actually put the work in, it showed. People like in Uncharted and stuff like that. People don't want to put in that work. They don't know about, about but that. They don't know how to make flowers for multi-platform games. They're like, they're like, why even bother? Really? I know it's gross. You're, you're done. Nope. What? Oh. Yeah, get down. Here. Help me up. I mean, like, you just gotta be more open to it. Like, there's no, like, all that, all that does is, is build interest in your console. Oh, he's faggot. Anyway, all that does is build interest in your console, and all this, especially with Microsoft these days, like right now, that's what that's what they have to do. Do you know what surprised me the most back in February? And I think I brought this up to you guys a few times. They had Jonathan Blow, the guy who created Braid, up on stage talking about The Witness, the game he's got coming out. That's huge. He's like the Godfather of indie. Did he buy a couch so he can sit down? <laughs> I think I was a jerk. He is. I don't like, uh, I'll put this on the record, I do not like Jonathan Blow. He is the most boring, tasteless guy on the planet. But his game was, his, Braid's not that bad of a game. I enjoyed it. It just, it's not that amazing. Um, but my personal opinion on him aside, the fact that he was up on stage is purely amazing. That just goes to show all that good faith. Sony's like, here, we got, we got, we want to give Indies a hug. Here, we don't bite. See? Oh, we, they don't bite. Nice. I like I like Sony now. It's um speaking of people liking Sony, there's a lot of people I follow on YouTube and uh, on Twitter and stuff who are major Xbox fans that are no longer major Xbox fans. People who have been with Xbox since the beginning, and now they're not. What do you guys think of that? Well, I I can see why. Like, well, you, you say your friend Mike is still getting it, right? Uh, yeah, he's Not, nothing him. will convince him otherwise. I haven't talked to him recently about it, but no, I don't. Think he's gonna get it no matter what. I mean, I can't like this. This doesn't. This isn't directed towards him. I'm just saying this in general. But like, I can't understand like how big of a fanboy can you be to like not be affected by all these like negatives of the console. Like, and like I said, it's not directed towards him at all. I'm just saying in general. Is this happened to be one thought after another? But like, you know, at a point, you just gotta be like, this is pretty bad. I should probably not get this console or. If the hundred, if the, if the extra hundred dollars doesn't say so, I'm dead. If the hundred uh, extra hundred dollars doesn't say so, DRM, constant online, buy three sixty when you're yeah. in submarines. That should that that should all be Once, signs of saying don't get the. You company. know what? That bothers me. Like personally, as a consumer, that a company would come out and just say that. At least try to put a face up. You know. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Not not say like oh well. Oh hell yeah. Not that. Don't come out and be like oh well sorry guys I don't care that. You don't have a good internet connection. Get a 360. What kind of response is that? Your new system is going to come out. I'm sorry you don't have an internet connection or a good one at that. I'm sorry you're in a nuclear submarine and all. Maybe Whatever. you can buy. Maybe you can buy a dial up. Uh, dial up the Ethernet. Maybe back. when you get a job. <laughs> maybe when you get a job and you stop living in your parents. He might as well have been like, you're stop living in your parents' basement. And stop get a serving job. our country. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> who, told, told, who told you to go overseas and fucking defend our rights? What are you, what are you some? What are, he might as well have been like you. Would, you neckbeards. <laughs> you neckbeards. You neckbeards on your blogs. I love. It. He said that. I was reading the blogs. Uh oh. <laughs> You're never gonna Back get up. that. You gotta set that up better. Shut so. Up. Boom. Uh, hey you. Oh yeah, TA. So, yeah. um, controller-wise, what do you guys think of look? 
I, I'm kind of, I'm happy that Microsoft decided to finally get rid of that eight directional pad. But uh, <laughs> I like the way I say that pad. <laughs> but it's still like, it's still that gross, like big pad that like no one wants to touch. Like it's like that, it's like that older brother no one really likes. He's just, he's just fat, and no one wants to bother with him. <laughs> like I, I don't understand. Like yeah, I'm happy that they got rid of the eight directional. But like you've seen how big the pad is, right? Like yeah. Like there's no reason to make it that big. This this co this blatantly copy like. Big as Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> this blatantly copied uh, freaking uh, Sony's design. Like, is it is it really that hard to ask for? Like, I understand your console is more geared, your geared, geared yeah, more geared toward uh, non gamers at this point. <laughs> non gamers, TVs, and uh, towards the TVs. And shooters. Specific, no, specifically it's the made, TVs it's made for TVs. That we were actually talking television sets. And oh. <clears throat> um, speaking, uh, well, first. Do you have any opinion on that, Fred, with the controllers? I just want to know more about the touchpad. I want to know what it's going to be used for. I imagine, like, the Vita. Well, like I that swipe, touchpad. Swiping on menus? I yeah, think probably. What I read about in the Game Informer for Second Son, that they said, like, you'll be able to use it to, like, switch powers or something. Which sounds cool. I think. I think that's what I read. You know I what I saw? In, remember that commercial I was telling you guys about? The uh, PlayStation 4 one? They were, had that guy in his room. He was playing uh, Mac. When he was doing messaging, he was doing this. He was moving the controller over the letters. Oh. That's pretty cool. That, I'm not yes, going to lie. That sounds cool. cool. The he has to have the camera. He has to have the camera and stuff, though, don't you? I don't know. I would imagine actually. he do because it has a sensor. I'd have to rewatch it. I don't think he had the camera, though. He might have. Well, if he's doing this, I mean, either the either the gyroscope's really good, or he had the camera. He was just kind of. I mean, that'd be weird if he had the camera. Then you have to be like. What do you think the control's gonna cost? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I just thought about that. Maybe it's gonna be the same it is now. Maybe they'll get all the leftover PS3 controllers and mend them into that, <laughs> and it'll be cheap. Oh, speaking uh, of controllers in general, how do you guys feel about that? Like, um, well, um, with the arcade sticks. Apparently, you won't be able to use your old. It's, ones. it's just it's just a ploy for Mad Cats to sell more uh, sticks. You think so? I think so, but you know, I, I have Cats faith. Was everywhere. I have faith in the fan base that there'll be a uh, USB dongle uh, adapter that would uh, maybe give it a work around on the. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel. I don't feel good about that. Like you should be able to hook up your arcade sticks. It's it's know? a it's a freaking it's a freaking accessory. That is USB connected, and the PS4 has USBs. There's no yeah, reason why it shouldn't and it's, work. They're both Xbox One and PS4 or computers, and so there's no Pretty reason much. why it shouldn't work. It's, so, it's just a ploy to, to some work sticks. That's all it is. Sticks or other. I can't well, say that word right. Prefer prefer I'll, <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what though. That's a completely Preferals. different word. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this about the, um, the like when I saw the Xbox One um, controller. When it came out, uh, I was not that impressed. I did not like the big old, big old thing on top of the controller. It looks like this, they they did. They put a giant sensor bar on top of the controller. See, with Sony's controller, you're holding it out right there. What they did is they just extended it down and they made it a bit wider. They made the gr they made this more grip grippable or whatever. Yeah, they added, they added that grip. To it. So the way you know. You won't. They won't slip out of your hands when you're playing Deadly the, uh, Premonition. This like that <laughs> <laughs> damn game. No, remember at the beginning it said um, hold the controller and don't let it slip. Yeah. It's like don't uh, sure with no the, play the play area. area. Make sure no one's in the play anymore. area. Don't let it slip. That's the first. <laughs> it was really funny. Wait, when you're playing Deadly Premonition, you don't want your controller. Damn, Fred, calm down. Calm down. So, oh, so bad. Honestly, um, after I heard two best friends, uh, Pat. Talking about it with the PlayStation 4 controller, I'm very happy about that. That he confirmed that the D pad's the really good, you know, Sony D pad. I just like how the uh, what you call it made the analog stick a little concave, so you get that, that better grip. You think? Oh, oh yeah. I the guess way so. the, it goes in a bit and then it pops out. I mean, a bit. I was a little skeptical Bitch. on the PS4 controller because I'm like, I oh, keep going. Yeah. I I was a little skeptical on it, you know, because it didn't look like <laughs> it didn't look like a PlayStation controller. It looked different to me but then i i took a i took a more look at it when they were everyone was like analyzing like it doesn't look so bad <laughs> but yeah the um the touch screen i i don't know you mean a touch of uh, oh the, the share option right twitch t no you stream you stream on ps4 Ustream. but twitch on do you Xbox. think do you think the twitch is possibly a, a time contract 
And maybe they'll give you the option. Actually, someone no. brought up a good point. Um, Twitch has like contracts with MLG, Call of Duty, stuff like that. So that's why that would happen, mm-hmm. most likely. If the Twitch integration works as well as it looks, um, I don't. I don't know about you guys. I don't believe it works just seamlessly like that for some reason. I'm really skeptical on that. Sony didn't show off any of the Ustream stuff on screen, so I can see why they probably did it because they probably they're probably not ready. You know, and I don't see that service being available immediately. And I really don't care to begin with. You know, that's just that's how I feel about that. I just don't. Well, at least you get that option to like have a game, have a have a game, have a have a uh, friend view what you're playing and uh, jump in at any time. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Damn, Fred, calm down. Did you guys check out the uh, PS4 headsets? No, no, they have headsets. Yeah, they're really weird looking. They look just like... I'm here. happy they actually plug into the controller this time around, you know, yeah, so yeah. I have to use a So Bluetooth. that everyone starts using them? Because yes. no one used them on the PS3. So, basically, they're taking a, they're taking a page from Microsoft to put that. Yeah, good. They should, you should have done that to begin with. Doesn't the Wii U do that? With the Pro controller? Yeah, it's on the Pro. No, yeah. uh, no. Uh, I heard that... Uh, I, I was told that... Uh, whenever the article was going around with the Wii U, that you can only use it with the, uh, the Wii U pad? Yeah. That was gross. Uh, dive oh, kicks coming out. You don't even, but you can use the pad to chat on the Wii U at least, and it works pretty good actually. But the uh, the actual headset for it, I think, actually plugs into the console. I don't know why you would need a headset if you're not using the pad. So you can tell people to buy like Killzone. The pad's like always on though. So you can tell people to buy Killzone. Yeah, but some people some people don't want the pad near them just to use it as a headset. And stop, ba- stop being a baby. It's mad awful. So, um, like I was talking about The Last of Us last time. Now, does Microsoft have any lineup, any strong lineups? Uh, like, this, like first party or? Yeah, first party. Do they have anything coming up this fall or anything? Any big news? No. Besides any, anything releasing for the one? We right? Talk, do we, they, do they have anything 60, right? right now? Do they have anything at all? No. Because they released Judgment and that didn't do so hot. And people, it wasn't that receptive. Just like uh, God of War Ascension, you know, people are like, whatever. I'm curious, does Microsoft have anything? Because they said they're not going to drop the 360 like they dropped the Xbox, because we all remember how that, that happened. They were like, Xbox? <laughs> Fucking, what's that? Xbox, have the 360. People, people like Halo, too? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. People like Blink's the Time Cat? <laughs> no. It's news to me. <laughs> I was under the assumption people just bought the damn console for Jet Set Radio Future. <laughs> oh, yeah. We remember how well that did. I don't know, man. Microsoft doesn't have... They said they're supporting their console, but they're not. They don't have any strong games. Assassin's Creed 2 is not enough. Assassin's Creed 2 is a sad excuse for a free game. Given during the whole PlayStation Network debacle, they gave us... Infinite they gave us, essentially, they Infinite gave Infinite us... Was awesome. they, well, Matt's well, got a point, though. They did it. give us just Sony titles. Like older games. But, but... There were they did. Titles. They gave us good titles. So... <laughs> I mean, Microsoft's not totally off giving out old titles. They're they're good titles. I don't well, know at least they're at least they're offering more with the uh, with their Xbox Live now, other than you know being Avatar Xbox. items. You could be Sonic because you know you're still paying you're still paying ten less dollars. You get more with the PlayStation Plus than you are with the Xbox Live. I don't know, man. With the, you know with the Xbox One, to be fair, some people might be interested in this because it it has cool capabilities and stuff, but. They're not talking about it right. It's like they're just, they're going off track way too much. Like I said, they're like Sony last generation. They're just so sure of themselves that they're not going to fail. But Microsoft's doing it way worse. What with the rumors going around, you know? Eh, they're they're building a lot of bad PR. They are, that's what they're doing. And I actually, um, I talked to uh, John recently about that. Oh! Golden. And I talked to him recently about that, and he's like, yeah, they're just, that's their problem right now. They're doing bad PR. And I talked to o or 2 and he's like, yeah, no, there's no point to getting an Xbox One. It's just, like, there's, no, there's nothing there. You know, people who like the 360, these are people I know that like the 360 over the hey, P- I like PS3. The I like the 360. Well, you, it was just, nah. you know, I just thought that the, you know, even though I spent $400 on my Xbox, not on my Xbox, on my PS3, it was a better value altogether because I had to pay for online. 
Mm. But ooh, that's a that's a good topic too, isn't it? What? About the um about the whole uh, having to pay for PS Plus, but we, oh, we already covered that enough, I guess. Yeah, we covered what we need to cover with that. You think? I mean, people don't seem that mad about it. There's some people that are like, uh, like myself. I'm actually not that happy for the PlayStation 4. You have to play to pay online. But you I'm thinking you have to play to pay online. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, you heard me. <laughs> Everyone in Movie Land heard me. Are you playing the game, Jeff? Yeah, there's money. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I don't know. I just I'm I'm a little weird on it, you know. I I've, I've never had to pay uh pay for online before, so for me it's a bit weird. <laughs> um, but it's only on the PlayStation 4. It's not on the Vita and it's not on the PS3. So what's the big deal, you know? You're trying so hard. Oh no! Oh what? You messed it up. I I don't feel like it's a big problem with PlayStation Plus, you know. <laughs> Lame was it there, Was there anything else anyone wanted That should be it. Actually. Oh, Jingo, he's gonna be in the new Smash Brothers. No! Oh, yeah. oh, we're not done. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, speaking of the Smash Brothers characters, we fit lady, fit you. You know, you know what we should Into my vagina. You know what we should totally do? <laughs> Talk about that in another video. What, Nintendo? Yeah, yeah Nintendo. I, I wouldn't mind covering Nintendo on their own. I mean, given it didn't have much of a conference, they're still an interesting company to talk about. Yeah, no, definitely. I have a, actually, uh, I, like the I have a lot. That, I have, well, not a lot, but I do have a few things to say about Nintendo. Why do I keep trying to grab you like that? that oh, important. but seeing as we're on the topic of Xbox One and PS4, well, mainly PS4, I'm, talking, I'm thinking about right now. Uh, how about Miyamoto going over to play on the Vita? Playing Tearaway. Sometimes, sometimes you want a, sometimes you want a different taste. I was like, I was surprised, you know. And this will lead into the topic. This will lead into the topic about Nintendo, but that just shows that they don't care about competing anymore. That's how I see it. Well, of course they care. They care. They not care that about competing, much. but of course they're not going to care that much. They're the Disney of the video game industry. They're they're going to sell by name alone. Did that make any sense? That made sense, right? Yeah. No, that did. That did. They, they are. They're the Disney of the video game world. They, they print money. I mean, come on. It's Nintendo. People are... Oh, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get into Nintendo because then I'll just go off, so... Oh, I just uh, ended. What question? Did they talk about the Vita that much? I Not really. No. No. Uh, I think they just wanted to... They wanted to keep... They did. They still got they, no games. You know what they did? They ran through the PS3 and Vita stuff right in the beginning. They wanted to get it out of the way... For investors and stuff, but they they did it real fast, like, oh, okay. and then they talked about movies in their service, and uh, then the PS4. And, uh, cool. Yeah. Anyway, and, anyway, guys, thanks for listening. This is Matt, Fred, and Jeff from Press Press Select for Options. No, 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 not Fred. It's 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 Ferd. It's Ferd. It's Ferd. Only. That's that's where we PS3, right? I didn't even only. think about that actually. PlayStation 4 only. Anyway, yeah, this is Matt, Jeff, and Fred from Press Select for Options. Thanks for listening. Tune in again, or our next subject will probably be, up, Xbox be about done. Be, be about the Nintendo, or Wii U, or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one, guys.